What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with another episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for February. The series where you show off some of the best tech you can find under that price. And ladies, Valentine's Day is coming up, maybe some gift ideas for your mans? Who knows? If there's anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. And I heard you loud and clear by popular demand, we'll be bringing back the giveaways. So comment down below what you think the, the coolest tech here is, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll pick five people next month. Starting off real quick, getting the more boring thing out of the way so we can move on, but as always, the boring thing is going to have a twist. So everyone's familiar with a wireless charger by now, you know, obviously, when they charging dock like this, you set it up against it, and it'll charge for you. But what about one that can actually come apart and act as a separate wireless battery bank for when you're on the go? So for the first use case, you know, on your desktop, on your nightstand, prop your phone against it, it's going to charge it wirelessly. But the battery bank itself connects to the dock via these pogo pins on the bottom. Then once you take it off, it's its own separate charger. It's 5,000 milliamp hours, and up top it's a USB port plus a USB-C port, so you can use it wired. But again, the beauty of a wireless Qi charger like this is the fact that you don't need wires. It's a wireless battery bank. So, you know, put them together in your pocket, have them charged that way, set it down somewhere, you get the idea. Again, an interesting kind of take on a traditional charger, thought it was pretty cool, and I picked this one up for $20. Next is a brand new mouse from SteelSeries, I just reviewed this yesterday on the channel. This is the Rival 3, a $30 lightweight gaming mouse. It comes in at 77 grams, so it's really cool to see that they can accomplish something like this for a very affordable price, and it doesn't have holes in the shell. So for those looking to pick up a new gaming mouse on a budget, this is definitely a good option. I'm really impressed with it. It's an all matte black body. It's got three zones of RGB lighting. Their true move sensor goes from 100 to 8,500 CPI. And as onboard storage, you can save those levels on the mouse. So for a more in-depth look, just check out my review. But for what it is at this price, it is phenomenal for anybody looking to save some money on a gaming mouse. It's really remarkable what SteelSeries did here for just $30. Can't recommend this enough. Next up is definitely going to be a popular item. That's the Divoom Pixu. I showed off the like real small version of this back when I first started the series in 2016 or 2015. This is a bigger 16 by 16 pixel version. So it's pretty much this multi-use smart display. You could either choose to hang it up like a picture if you want, prop it down on your desktop. It has a little stand on the back as well. But you could display a ton of things on the actual display here. You could do things like show, obviously, the time acting like a clock. It could simulate the weather outside. It could be a calendar for you. Once you download the app, there are probably over thousands and thousands of different animations and little visual things that you can add to this. Tons of different effects from music visualizers. You can make your own effects. You can use it to show text, countdown, check, stopwatch, check, alarm, check. You can even have it show your notifications from like Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, text messages, all that stuff. But the gallery in the app is extremely expansive. People are constantly making, you know, new effects and new visuals every single day and uploading them. And there's even little like mini games you could choose to play on here if you want. But the fact that there's so many different use cases and integrations with the app that you could choose to display on here is the reason why I think it's a really cool pickup. I feel like these LED desk gadgets also do really, really well in the series. This will probably be a fan favorite. So the Divoom Pixu comes in at $50. Some days I'll check, it'll be 55, 52. I picked it up for 50. Next up is a brand new gadget from Sony for your PS4 controller, and that's this back button attachment for using, you know, back buttons on your games as well as PC. This is something really cool, and I'm happy that they actually put something official out like this, because for only $30, this taps into the market of, you know, scuff controllers, third-party add-on attachments, and those kind of things. So the little module itself is pretty compact. It snaps right onto the actual bottom of your controller, locks into place there. And you have two tactile buttons acting like those two back paddles now, and you can configure them to be whatever you want. The OLED screen there is also a third button, and that's how you pretty much configure everything, tapping on it. You can go through the four different profiles that are saved onto here, and then you can just remap whatever you want those two back buttons to be. It's very, very simple, very easy to use. For FPS games, I like using one for reloading my weapon and the other for like sliding or jumping, depending on what the game is, so I don't take my thumbs off the thumbsticks. And for racing games, you can use this for like shifting or your handbrake. It's a great way to now remap them so they're just right there for you. Very easy to press. They're nice and tactile buttons too. And for those who use a headset, you don't lose out in functionality at all because there's actually a built-in headphone jack on the bottom of the device. So definitely happy they thought of that. 
This might be giving us a little sneak peek at what the PS5 controller might be like, you know, having like a screen and these side buttons integrated naturally. But altogether, it is still very small and compact, as you can see. It doesn't take up much space in the bulk here, just on the bottom. And now you have the ease of use of remapping buttons to this and having the OLED screen there. So you can see what profile you're on and what buttons you're on as well. So it comes in at $30. It might be out of stock right now because it's brand new and it's a very hot commodity, but keep it in mind. And then lastly, for number five, I like to kind of show off different things for this last one. And uh, this one's definitely pretty unique. This is a mini handheld espresso maker. It's called the Mini Presso GR. So for you coffee lovers out there, I got you back. Now this isn't made to like replace your espresso maker or your coffee pot and stuff like that, but a travel or a you know espresso maker on the go. If you're camping, this will be clutch. If you're going on, you know, trips, this will be clutch. Everything you need actually comes in the capsule itself from the actual scooper to a integrated cup, which just comes off on the top. And the instructions might be pretty intimidating at first, but once you do it a few times, you get the hang of it. It is very, very simple. The piston just pops out. So you hand pump it a few times to get the water going, and then it'll go through obviously and make it inside for you. All you have to do is just pour in hot water and you're good to go. Pump this thing and now you got some espresso. So I understand this is not gonna be for everybody. You know, I get that, uh, but I thought it was really cool. I'm definitely gonna use it as well. And I'm sure some people out there could appreciate it. These come in different models for like different prices and stuff, bigger sizes, different colors and all that. But again, I feel like camping, this would be really cool for if you're going in a long car ride, you don't wanna bring coffee with you, put water in this. When you get to work, when you get to class, pump your coffee and you're good to go. Uh, this model comes in at just around 50. I believe it was 45 when I got it. Uh, but again, different models, color sizes, all that stuff. A mini espresso maker right in your hand. And guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for February. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. And don't forget, anything you saw in this episode will be listed for you in the description down below. I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.